we need to talk again. This time, I'm really embarrassed. I created a video a few days ago, and if you haven't watched it, thank God you haven't watched it because that was one of the uh, worst videos I've made because I made my decisions based on my emotions. Basically, what I'm talking about is I created a video saying that I was going to move my courses over to Teachable because I couldn't handle the stress I was getting from using my WordPress and LearnDash combination. So, you know when they say the grass is green on the other side? Yep, <laughs> that's what happened. So, the reason why I'm embarrassed to create this video is because I've actually come back to WordPress and LearnDash. Because, to be honest, I could not handle what or how Teachable works. In fact, it's so difficult. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Because you might be thinking, oh, this guy is just flipping over, flipping back, forward, back, backwards, forward. You know what I mean by this. So right now, I'm trying to create my main landing page for my course, my website. So let's say I want to make changes to this banner. So I'll click here. And this is the image that I have here for my banner. And as you can see, this is my text here. Notice that there's, I'm very limited here to what I can do in terms of the design of this page. I can just add my subheading here. But of course, if I need to change my, I mean, how this looks, it's quite difficult. And over here, I can also add a button, but I cannot customize this button to perhaps maybe have it, you know, rectangle. It's quite difficult here. And all I have is get started and add a URL. Now, over here on the image here, I cannot do much here as well. So it's very, very limited. Let me just show you quickly. So over here on the design, all I have is the image overlay. I can either, you know, make it really bright like this, or I can just bring this all the way down. And that's all I have. Now, I know I'm being picky here. It's because I've been using page builders for a very long time, and I can't even change my fonts here. So you know what? and I'm very limited to the type of fonts I can use. So that's one thing. The second thing is the sales page. So let me just show you. So over here, if I click on sales, this is the sales page. And it took me a very, very long time here to try and get this page to, uh, to look the way it does. But I'm very, very limited again to uh, what I can do with this. In fact, let me show you what the checkout page looks like. So this is the checkout page. All I have is this information right here on the right side. I can add testimonials and I can also add a heading. But uh, the most important thing that I can't really do here are the upsells and downsells. So let's click view page here so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to copy the URL here. Now take a look at this checkout page. Unbelievable. You can't really customize, you know, the text here or even the images. You can't even add, you know, like hero images. Pretty much this is all you have. And to be honest, this doesn't look great at all. And you don't even have the ability to do your upsells and downsells. So the design aspect of the checkout page is totally gone. Your homepage, you can't really design it. So ultimately, what Teachable is doing here is just providing you with hosting and very good, you know, stats. So if we take a look here on this page, to be honest, this actually look really, it looks really nice. We have our... Uh, it shows you how many people have enrolled uh, on each course and also how many sales you've made. So over here on the VIP membership, you can see I've made $40 and 16 people have enrolled. So yeah, when it comes to the stats, it looks okay. But overall, this is a platform that does not really help you maximize on making a lot of money online. Now, let me show you in contrast what I've managed to do using uh, WordPress. So over here, you can see this is totally different. I have this landing page here. I can design this however I want. I can add videos easier. I can um, change all my colors to suit my branding. And, and also here, if you take a look at my checkout page, it is you know much, much better. I can add even more items here to make it easier for people to buy this course. I can also even add things like videos. I can add even check boxes. Pretty much everything that you get from your page builder, you can definitely add it here. And over here, I can also do upsells and downsells. Now, the one thing that really, 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 really uh, made me just say, you know what, I'm back to WordPress and LearnDash is... Whatever money you make on that platform, you only get it after 30 days. Now, that's a no-no for me because I need my money 
when it's coming in because that's my cash flow. I can't wait like a month for no reason, really. The money is going into PayPal, it's going into Stripe. I don't see the reason why I should wait for my money. So that's a no-no. So yes, I'm back to LearnDash and WordPress. But here's the thing. I actually took about four days. I didn't sleep properly for four days. I stripped down my whole website. I started building it up from the ground up. And now it's in a position where it's really, really working okay. But I cannot say for, for sure, 100%. But I've actually resolved most of the issues that I had. My main problem was to shut the website down and upset all you students and all everyone that signed up for my membership. So thankfully you guys are well, I mean, you're really understanding. So I managed to go in and, you know, shut down the website and work on it behind the scenes. And now it's working. Everything is stable. And that speed thing is now really working fast. So I'm really pleased with how things are right now. In fact, I've gone ahead and created a course where I teach how to actually build your online course website. It's going to be released very, very soon, but it's available for members. So anyone who's a VIP member on funnels2income.com, you're going to have access to that course. And anyone that buys Learn Dash using my affiliate link, you'll also get access to this course. So yes, very, very difficult video to make. Really embarrassed about this. So for those of you that had moved over to Teachable or decided to uh, not use LearnDash anymore. I'm really, really sorry. So yeah, that's all I can say. Thank you for watching.